What's up guys? Welcome back to the Esther Effect. This is Jonathan, or you can call him Bird. What do you want? Either way, whatever. Yeah! He's awesome. He's gonna share his story. Hope you guys enjoy this and we'll be back in a second. Hey, I'm Jonathan. I was raised in a strong Christian home. You know, we were in the church every time the doors were open. Sundays and Wednesdays, we would always be there. Uh, we were always doing, you know, Halloween night, setting up for every, pretty much every event we had. I was homeschooled also, so family was pretty much all I knew. Um, when I was about 15, my parents split up. I had to go to public school after that. That was hard. I was, you know, just living my life and all of a sudden everything I've known is just closed for business. I get to uh, public school as a sophomore. I did pretty well the first year there, but I started hanging out with the wrong crowd, started experimenting, smoking weed, ended up getting into a lot more drugs and all the stuff the world has to offer, you know, drinking a lot. Eventually when I'm like 17, I started selling drugs. And that just kind of went on for a few years. I ended up getting in trouble. I sold to an undercover when I was 19. And I kind of got out of the scene. I started this probation program, outpatient rehab. That's, you know, that's what I needed at the time. Quit doing drugs because I was taking drug tests, but I found, you know, that same uh, comfort in alcohol. So I started just drinking a lot instead of doing all the drugs, and that felt like freedom to me. But when I was on that probation program, I, I had to go to meetings and stuff. I had to go to all these drug classes. Started going to church again. I didn't really know how to get along with church people, but I knew it's where I needed to be. I just felt peace there. I was still drinking this whole time, like drinking a lot. I just lived the, you know, one foot in, one foot out type of lifestyle. I ran into one of my buddies at a bar after work. I'd known him for a few years. You know, we used to party together. He was kind of in this really rough spot in life. I invited him to church. That Tuesday, he, he got saved. We were on a mission trip to Nicaragua two months later, so it was really cool to, you know, see him. Uh, you know, this guy I used to party with, and then, you know, he comes to church and gets saved, and then he's going on a mission trip, and he's being activated. We heard about the world race on there. My buddy just comes up to me, and he's like, hey, I'm thinking about going on the world race. I was like, all right, cool, bud, I'll see you in a year. The Holy Spirit started to kind of work on my heart a little bit over the next couple months. And then one day he told me to go on that trip, 11 month mission trip to 11 different countries. God really showed me a lot. I feel like a lot of brokenness from my past was brought up. And I was able to deal with some of it, but I still had, I still had a lot of it. So I get home from that trip, and within about six months, I had completely run my life into the ground again. And God showed up. I was still drinking a lot, and I ended up going to, to AA. I got sober. It was just a really cool, you know, a really cool adventure because I felt more freedom than I had ever, I had ever felt because I, you know, I quit doing drugs for the for the longest time, and I was just drinking every night, and that felt like freedom. Then actually, when I quit drinking, I was like, "Wow, this is this is amazing." I found out about this program called G42 when I was on the World Race, and God told me to go to it, but I kind of got distracted after I got home. I went to this program, and the first day in class, the Holy Spirit just Holy Spirit just falls, and the director of the program comes up to me and he's like, "Hey, Jonathan." You have every prophetic word you need. You don't need another word. So start speaking out the things that God's saying about you. In that moment, God was telling me that I'm loved, that I'm chosen, and it was just this crazy revelation of no matter what my past is, no matter where I've been, God loves me, and He loves me on a, an extremely deep level that I still have no clue. I've received revelation over and over again. I know that even if I have a fresh revelation of God's love for me, 
every day until the day I die, and I can still be sitting on my deathbed, being lavished in God's love on a deeper level. I think that's really when everything started to change. I started waking up every morning and prophesying over myself and telling myself, I'm loved, I'm chosen, I'm free. And I started speaking identity into myself in the mirror. That was, I mean, that was a huge, a huge life change. And over, I'd say over the last nine months, God has just been showing me on a deeper level how loved I am. I think that is the most important thing we can learn as Christians because I always thought that the Christian walk was about, you know, sin management and how can I just be a better person and how can I stop sinning? That's not what Jesus talked about. He said, love God, love people, go make disciples. So if I understand that I'm loved, then I can go tell other people that they're loved. And that's what discipleship is all about. It's about being, it's about having Christ formed in us so that we can love the people around us and be Christ on the earth to a lost and broken world. Uh, we're going to work with 91 Place. It's a, a ministry that's doing transitional housing for homeless youth there to help mentor the youth that we bring in off the streets that are living in the transitional housing. And we'll do, we'll build a greenhouse, do aquaponics so that we can help 91 Place become sustainable by growing fresh produce and fish. We'll have food to eat, but we'll also have food to sell and to give away. Green Kingdom through delicious food. Check out the link below, give you all the information on how to follow the adventure and support us. Thank you so much, Jonathan, for sharing. I hope you yeah. guys enjoyed that. Well, I'll put the, the link to my blog uh, below, but follow me at Bird's Eye View on Instagram. It's A-Y-E instead of E-O-I-E. So B-R-D-S-A-Y-E-V-I-E-W. -E -E follow me. Bird, would you pray for us, for everybody watching, if, they're, if you're going through this? Lord, I just want to thank you for everything that you've done in my life and um, just that you're doing. Uh, God, we just want to partner with you on what you're doing in the world. Thank you that thank you that we are having you fully formed in us every day and that Christ in us is the hope of glory. Thank you that we're just understanding your love on a deeper level every single day. I pray that everyone that watched this video feels your love and feels your presence and understands the truth that you have to give us every single day on a deeper level until the day we die. Just thank you for everything that you do. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.